Hello guys, I hope everybody's doing okay. Here to show you the, the finished project of the uh, laser rot rotary tool or rotary attachment for the laser cutter to engrave uh, cylindrical objects. And I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the, the build. So far I just managed to make everything on metal, all plates, bearing blocks. So the only plastic thing here is these two covers for the uh, for the uh, main wheels of the rotary device. So real quick, you can notice how the build is is done. And uh, we'll guide you guys more or less step by step how we can put this together. It's very easy. Also, another thing that I did like the previous build that you already have seen on the Open Builds website is I just um, fit the free wheels on wheels. So it's more easy now, instead of using two cast corner brackets or this type of a 3D printed corner bracket here, that you need to lose the screw and slide it inside the, the extrusion now this thing is on wheels it's more more easy uh, to adjust and uh, you can notice right here also I just tap a three millimeter hole and with a obviously three millimeter, uh, millimeter um, screw there so so in the moment that you need to set this up and now this thing is completely stuck right there so it's not going anywhere so it's very easy everything is already posted guys all the files needed to be cut and obviously the SDLs for the wheel covers and or the part list needed to complete this the only thing I need to include are these uh, uh, mini, uh, mini wheels uh, plates or actually the kits for the mini wheels uh, plates and the wheels and everything on it so you can achieve this also I already cut this uh, guy some metal and this thing is completely adjustable with these two screws I have uh, T-nuts back there so you can slide this up and down to fit whatever kind of a tumbler or bottle whatever you want to engrave uh, using this system it's very straightforward it's not rocket science but it's kind of cool I already tested out you can notice here is a Walmart tumbler I don't remember the brand of this thing I think it's let me see something Ozark Trail is the name of that. These are stainless steel tumblers that I found in Walmart for six dollars. Something like that. It's not a jetty, but this is my preferred one due to the uh, type of coating that they have. It's completely different, but this is an original jetty, and you can see how cool um, this thing's engraved. It's very nice and obviously in this particular beer built that is a little bit different um, from the others uh, here you can fit also a wine bottle if you can notice here I just engraved my name very 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 low power one my wife names right there and uh, yeah, you can fit this and you can Thing I like about this build is you can go beyond the motors and the belt and everything back there so if you have a longer one like a magnum bottle or something it will fit so let me explain you real quick with a acrylic mock-up that I have and uh, how more or less this thing is assembled So first, 
we have this plate right here. Well, this is acrylic, so you can see through it. This is the motor plate where the motor goes hooked up there. We need a aluminum flexible coupler. This one is five millimeter by eight and uh, 40 millimeter aluminum spacers with 55 millimeter M5 low profile screws and M5 nuts just for these purposes. But this, when you remove this, then you put the extrusion right here, you know, in order to fit it to the, uh, fit, fit it to the extrusion. And sorry about my English guys, it's not my primary language, so I'm trying to do my best here. What else? So we have the bearing blocks, bearing seats, whatever you want to call it. We need six of them with the bearings inside. We need a idler pulley for a six millimeter belt. And this is a 35 millimeter M5 screw right there with a M5 lug nut. I want to tell you something about this rods right here. I just found this 100 millimeter ones on Amazon, a pack of four. And be careful with these ones, guys. I have very bad luck with them. They're not eight, they're, they are 8.04. So it is almost impossible to fit a bearing on these ones. So what I do, I just use and buy the 300 ones. And with these ones are eight. And you will see how better the fit is for the bearings. And it's very tight fit, you know, it's not like all loose, but you have to make some force, but it goes all the way through. So what I do, I just cut this for whatever length I need with Dremel and it works pretty fine. And also we need here on three GT2 20 feet, eight millimeter bore um, pulleys. We need three of them and, uh, and the rods obviously. These rods in the big rig, I just let it all of them completely like so but you can cut it shorter and I think maybe 75 millimeter will be more than enough to have um, these rods um, on the build. So it's very straightforward and the way the idler is connected you will notice that I have the screw here a washer another washer and I have a the securing nut right here it's an MM5 six millimeter spacers two precision shims and that way I can achieve my alignment with the belt right here okay the belt it is a GT2 six millimeter wide closed loop 200 millimeter one and you can find this in packs of five, I think. You're not gonna find only one. They're very cheap. They sell like five for eight bucks or something like that. So this is the primary component uh, of the build. Very easy. Um, also, you will need this uh, little M3 um, screws, and they are 25 millimeter long, and you need 12 of those to secure those uh, bearing uh, blocks in place guys you can do this in acrylic but I do not recommend if you're gonna try it on acrylic try to use 3 8 of an inch or make this plate another one and modify it and try to hook it up with four of these on the top because it tends to bend when you um, tension the belt and you need to have these two rods completely parallel one to each other perfectly if not 
you're gonna start having problems when you put your material material starting to slipping you know back and forth um, on the uh, on the job so you don't want that so actually the design is to be cut in aluminum and then you're gonna have a very very strong uh, build on that one so guys I hope you like it uh, you have any questions um, you can uh, ask them in the forum and sorry about my background mess that I have right here and I will be happy to answer any questions about any help that you need if you want to build one of these okay so hope you like it the build is already there part lease is complete I only have left to put the uh, mini wheels gantries and, and that's it hope you like it have a nice one see ya everybody's doing okay just uh, forget about talk about a little bit about the main wheels on the previous video and uh, this one's real real quick and how simple those uh, main wheels are built so what you need is uh, just three kind of parts it's a 60 feet GT2 pulley and you need these three o-rings the specifications are in the part, part list and if I don't remember I remember what I think there are five millimeter um, thick and I think it's inside diameter 35 outside diameter 40 or something like that I don't remember right now but it's, it's in the link um, the, on the part list and a 3d printed um, pulley seat that I designed and I already post the STL file so you can also 3d print this one it's very simple and remember not all 3d printers are the same so the tolerances can be vary by each printer so maybe you can you need to rescale this just a bit to make a very nice tight fit with the idea here that is just to insert the pulley inside this 3d printer wheel cover right here and after that just put all three o-rings around it so let me remove this real quick and I'm gonna put the o-rings very straightforward I'm gonna put the middle one first and I'm gonna give you another trick that not everybody have if you notice when I put this o-ring this o-ring is not perfectly seat because it, it, I already twisted in order to put it inside so you need to grab the bearing the arm um, sorry the o-ring put something inside there not making any damage and make some turns like so and that way the, the o-ring will be properly seated and not twisted that also prevents sleeping object sleeping okay it's very important to do that so just assuming that we did it already in all three of them we have the bam, fit this wheel and obviously it goes in here this knot is not completely seated, that's why I cannot, but let me put in this one, so. And it goes like so. And just tie this up both ways. And you have the main wheels already there. So any question, guys, again, just let me know, and I will be more than happy to answer those, okay? See you next time.